Hello, and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. Today we are doing an almond Snickers. Almond Snickers. Now, a lot of people have told me that they can eat candy bars like, excuse me for a minute while I open this. The camera might get a little shaky. I try to tear this open while I'm holding the camera. I should have used my tripod, but I'm stupid and I didn't. Hold on just a second. All right, there we go. Got it. Okay, so a lot of people have told me they can eat candy bars like um, Twix because it's a cookie and they can just kind of snap it off. <coughs> uh, they can eat regular Hershey's bars because they're just chocolate and they can just kind of snap it off or break pieces off and put it in their mouth. Um, but this, with all the biting techniques that I've showed you and uh, helped you with, this is a little difficult to bite through because it has almonds in it. They're a little harder to bite through than a regular Snickers. But again, if you... Now, I'm going to use my lip push technique and push on my bottom denture with my lip, and I'm going to bite through it very slowly. So... Put the camera over here where you can see me. Straight through. Hmm. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Now, remember what I said about putting more pressure on your bottom gum right here using your bite once you toughen up this part of your gum it, everything gets easier to bite the more you bite the easier it gets the reason we have such a hard time biting one of the reasons is because we don't bite through harder foods and then when we do try to bite through harder foods it hurts and instead of continuing to bite through harder foods, we quit biting through harder foods and go back to eating the softer foods that don't hurt. That's human nature. We don't like pain. But when you toughen up that bottom gum, you'll be able to go... Just like that. Now these are a little sticky, so I do have to keep my lip pressed against my bottom denture and my cheeks. I suck my cheeks in. And I keep my tongue pressed against the bottom denture spread out across the back to keep it from coming up because it says caramel in it. So the caramel will stick to your teeth and when you open your mouth it'll try to lift that bottom denture. I don't know if you can see, I'm actually drying my cheeks in against the bottom denture. Not enough to bite them, but enough to keep them from lifting. Which also means I'm taking a small enough bite to keep the food in the center of my mouth. So I'm not shoving it over in my cheek. Bit right through that almond, see? So it's... I guess you could call this a chewing technique. Because when things are sticky and you... Bite your teeth together and you try to lift your teeth or try to open your mouth again and your bottom denture lifts because things are sticky. That's one of the things we need to learn how to do is spread your tongue out across the bottom of your denture. Only use the tip of your tongue to move your food around. And I know that's difficult and it takes time. But you also, having your tongue spread out across the back of the denture, 
helps to keep that denture down. And using just the bottom muscles in your cheek right here to press against the denture. Helps keep that denture in place. And again, I've got food all down in my lips now. I'm not going to worry about trying to get it all out. Got a little bit up here too. But I'm almost finished. So I'm not going to freak out. And take a chance trying to dig all the food out of my lip with my tongue. And take a chance on that denture lifting up and peanut getting under there. And then I go to bite down and it hurts. Because I'm so close to finishing. Mm. And it's a real good idea when you're eating something sticky like this, it's a really good idea to have something hot to drink, like hot tea or hot coffee or something warm to drink. Because at the end of it all, you're going to have nougat and caramel and chocolate stuck everywhere in your mouth. So if you have something hot to drink, oh, that was a little too hot. Again, little tiny sip I just made this cup of coffee so I didn't I didn't realize it was that hot see now I can work on getting the food out of the cheeks because I've already rinsed once which got 90% of the food out of my mouth and if something does get under my denture I can always just rinse underneath it which I have to do right now. Sometimes I actually have to get my tongue under that denture. So what I do, and I'll do it with my mouth open, is if I rinse, and I put my denture back down and something's still stuck there and I rinse again and I put my denture down and it's still stuck there. That means it's stuck to the denture, not the gums. So I will close my mouth and I will drop my bottom jaw. I will lift my denture with my tongue. Like that. And clean underneath it with my tongue. And I try to do that with my mouth closed. So it's like this. And if you pay attention, if you pay attention real close, you can see my tongue move right down here. So watch. Okay. But normally, and when I'm doing it on video, I try to do it slow so you can see. Normally, here's what would happen. I would take a drink. Rinse underneath it. Food's still there, I would just go and put it back down. Now it's gone. 
just that fast. So if you're in, having a meal with somebody, you're having a conversation, all you do is wait for them to look down at their plate to do that. That way they can't see what you're doing. And they're not going to pay attention. If they're looking straight at you when you do that, like you're looking at me every time I make a video, you're going to see that. But if you're watching somebody else eat, if we were sitting in a restaurant eating, I guarantee you, you would never see me rinse underneath my denture because you wouldn't be staring at me the whole time. You'd be looking at your plate, cutting up your food or whatever. And if and you would never see me lift it, even if my lips open slightly like that, you would never see it because I would do it while you're staring at your plate. So you would never see that. I've gotten really good at being conspicuous. So, or inconspicuous. Yeah, inconspicuous. <laughs> I've gotten very good at being discreet. I'm going to have to look up what dispicu what inconspicuous and conspicuous mean because I always get those two confused. Anyway, um, I'm sure you know what they mean, so throw me the throw me the meaning in the comment, if you will. In the meantime, um, if there's and that this was a request, somebody asked me to show eating an almond Snickers, and I'm more than happy to do requests if it's something that I would normally eat. Somebody asked me to do um, showing eating shrimp and lobster. I'm sorry, I don't eat shrimp and lobster. So it's not something that I'm going to go out of my way to do just because of the fact that it's not a normal food that I would eat on a regular basis. And besides, shrimp and lobster, lobster are very soft foods. Probably easier to eat than a Snickers. So, yeah, we'll just keep this going and see where it goes from here. All right, my friends, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.